And I think the skylight gives the place a kind of an... I don't know. Ethereal glow during the day. Yeah, I, I guess. What's wrong? Yeah, I don't know, Julie. These places are uh, just a bit, uh, how do I say, boring? Yeah, I guess we just hope to be setting up our new offices in a place a little bit more exciting. Boring, you say? Yeah. More exciting, you say? Yeah, just, just a little bit more. Okay. Let's go. Really? Yeah, I really think you're gonna like this next one. Right through here. Right this way. <sighs> that was... The longest flight. Stairs ever. What, what is this place, really? This is the Citadel. A thousand-foot sandstone structure in the center of a secluded but charmingly airy location. Secluded location. Do you mean the apocalyptic radioactive wasteland we had to traverse to get here? Come on, the climate is good for you. We probably all have cancer. And if you look over the balcony here, you have some enthusiastically friendly neighbors. Holy shit! Also, good parking, dogs are allowed, but they're kind of finicky about the water. Yeah, we're uh, going to have to pass on this place. Who killed the world? Who killed the world? Hey, uh, Jolie, uh, why is there a pregnant woman screaming in my face? Oh, did I forget to mention the housekeepers slash concubines? Yeah, time to go. Who killed the world? Welcome to the former offices of Jordan Belfort himself. Stratton Oakmont. This place is vacant? Why are all these people here? Wait, why, why, why are they all naked? Oh, they come with the place. Clothes optional. What the hell are they all celebrating? Who knows? I like to think it has something to do with world peace. Guys, guys. I just got multiple blowjobs on my way to and from the bathroom. Wow, that's crazy. Yes! I'm covered in cocaine! Alright, Julie, I don't think we like this place either. I do. Hashtag, me too. Guys, we can't set up our offices here. Why not? Well, for one, there's a half-naked dwarf on the other side of that glass flipping me the bird. Technically, the proper term is person of short stature, and technically, he's grabbing his crotch in a derogatory way in your general direction. Oh, wait. Now he's banging said crotch against the glass. Julie! Okay. Now, I know a place in the UK is a bit on the pricey side, and switching country locales might be a bit of a culture shock, but I really think you're going to like this place. Julie, it's a phone booth. On the outside. But once you step in, it's a bit more spatial. What the shit? This is bad. This is very bad. Hmm, this isn't really an office. It's a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A fucking spaceship? You know what? There's no pleasing you guys. I find you a prime London property which positives included inexplicably being bigger on the inside than it is on the outside, time travel capabilities, and yes, space flight, and of course your minds automatically go to the negatives. Which are... Exterminate them! Exterminate them! Oh yeah, that's right. The Daleks. I totally forgot about them. They could be a bit of an issue. So I guess... We'll just go with the skylight place. Can't believe I forgot about the Daleks. Boy, do I have it on my face. This is the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. They talk movies. They talk TV. They've insulted many people, places, and things over the years, but still have the common sense not to call every third world country a shithole. You seriously have your racism turned up to 11, you tangerine-faced flunky. I'm your announcer Julie. And I really miss Fruitopia. Not really a joke there. Just a random thought of mine. Fruitopia was a great drink. Fuck off to anyone who says different. Here are your hosts, Matthew Stewart, DJ Valentine, and Justin Polizzi. 
Konnichiwa Creeps. This is the Beast Podcast. I'm DJ Valentine. I'm joined by two people who might be the mystery father of January Jones's child, Matthew Vaughn Stewart and Justin Sudeikis Palizzi. Happy New Year, guys. How are you? Doing? January Jones had a kid. Chinese are taking over, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're on the way. Hey, how about those missiles that are being fired? Over in no, Korea. no, false alarm. We're, we're still here. Oh, <laughs> okay. Hawaiians well, jumping well, the gun once again. So sad. I mean, you think if you live in Hawaii, you just have like fucking, you would just chill and just not worry about anything. I would. You know, maybe the missiles are actually coming, but they just told us like, oh no, it's fine. So we're peaceful when we go. You know, kind of like how they give you the oxygen to knock you out in the plane when you're going down, not to breathe. Yes. The Fight Club. Yes, uh, that's true. Oh, the Fight Club methodology. Yeah, so maybe we are. This is probably our last and final broadcast again for the four hundred. Yeah, we always keep saying that. But hey, we have so much to live for. We're so close well, to a, listen, if, a milestone coming up. If we keep saying yeah. it, one day it will be true. Yeah, yeah. Nuclear, I mean, one day we're gonna get I mean, this that's right. How science works. We are. <laughs> we're, we're we're hedging our bets. Yeah, we know it's gonna nuclear, happen. Nuclear, um, nuclear Armageddon will be the end of the Simplistic Refuse podcast. Nuclear which, annihilation. You know, on, on paper, sounds like oh, of course that's never gonna happen. But nuclear annihilation. <laughs> eh. It's about a 50-50 chance. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Plus, we are it's called cockroaches, so... I'm wearing my magic underwear. <laughs> you know, when people call me cockroach, now it's kind of like a term of endearment because yeah. I will survive this, I'm this this holocaust. This uh, Yeah. I mean, I, okay. I, got, I got Matt here who survived many a holocaust, so yes. I survived all... I, I survived the real one. Oh, I did But if that. you talk to some people, that people don't believe it happened, though. <laughs> Justin survived the cannibal holocaust. We're all yeah. the holocaust survivors. Did I, yeah. Yeah. Did Woo! I survive the cannibal holocaust? That's true. He I think he, Carl from I, I've I, heard uh, he, you started the Cannibal Holocaust. <laughs> I'm so hungry. And then I celebrated I, the Cannibal Ferox. Okay, now that you're using I know, words. that's a deep, that's a deep uh, that's, cut. That's such a deep cut right there. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Hold my beer. <laughs> Find out what that word means on Patreon. Google. Google. Yeah, dictionary. donate to Patreon and we'll give you definitions that we make up for words that <laughs> might be true. <laughs> none of the words are real. Absolutely not. Words are just a, a thing made up by the government to trick you into believing that you know how to speak right. Fake news. Good. For only it's 25 all bucks, you could get the Simplistic Reviews Dictionary. <laughs> the Simplistic yes. Reviews Dictionary. Ironically, only five pages long. Yeah. Yes. It's got little font. But, little font. <laughs> little font, tiny, and it's, and it's tiny, full of four tiny. letter words. Like fuck. Words that we make up. And fuck you. And shit. No. And, We're also bad at counting. And, and cock. And pussy. <laughs> Shit bag. And we've been gone a while, so asshole. we're getting a lot of cursing out of our. Every time we get this built up cursing, we gotta like stretch our legs, stretch our cursing legs. <laughs> I gotta get or my cursing legs underneath me. As long as net neutrality allows, we gotta get all these curse uh, words nope. out. We're getting notice. Oh, wait. We're getting oh, wait, notices gotta, right now. I gotta text. We need us. Oh, no, they're in the mail. Oh, it's right here. It's, I'm, I'm getting a message. Right already, already we cursing. cannot make money off this video on YouTube. Ooh. Already, yeah, yes, because we told we, us. we cursed. We, we said a bad word. Sign. Yeah, oh, we're we're, st- and we're stealing from other people. We're stealing from our own podcast. Mm-hmm. So Sam now we're Rockwell really in trouble. can fucking curse on SNL, but we can't fucking curse on our own fucking show. No, when you curse on YouTube, uh, they actually take away the uh, the ad revenue. So um, that's yeah. why we don't really? make any money. Yeah, <laughs> it sucks. We won't go down with censorship. About YouTube though, no censorship. YouTube's good because you can like you know, as long as you're you know showing dead bodies on screen and oh yeah, prancing oh, in that's the woods. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> Seriously, when are we going to ah. find out January Jones's father for the yeah. kids? Never. Come on, Never. Murray. My no. money was on Fastbender, but I, I'm leaning towards Sudeikis now. I don't. I have no idea. Mm. This is a story that's about three years old that people will probably don't it's even remember just anymore. But uh, it's Xavier, isn't it? <laughs> Xavier, the other one? Oh, you thinking McAvoy is one of them? Ooh. No, 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 no. Xavier. What's, what if it's Kevin Bacon? Guy in 24. James McAvoy. James McAvoy. No, the guy in 24. Okay. What's his name? The guy that was in 24. Kiefer Sutherland? Nah, motherfucker. It, it, what, Xavier. I thought his name was <laughs> the guy, Xavier. The guy. It, oh, oh, Xander? Z- okay. Xander. What, <laughs> Xavier? Are you sure? Like, Wait a minute. Jan- like, Xavier King? was an X-Men and that was James McAvoy. I know my Xavier. No, no. No, no motherfucker. Xander. Google Xander. that shit. His name is Xander. Z- he, was, he was John Connor's father in Terminator 2. Xander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Xander yeah. Barkley yeah, or Xander or something or other. Yeah, yeah he yeah, might yeah. be the father too, yeah. You know? That guy? Yeah, I I, I'm pretty sure we talked about this before, actually. I don't know, man. He looks like, like, uh, episode like six. middle middle aged Charles Dance. <laughs> it's middle like aged. I don't, well, January Charles Jones, Dan- you know Charles Dance via Last Action Hero. Yeah, I, I, well, uh, I know her. I know her. Her kid is named Xander. So you oh. think in a, in a, in a, in a, in an act of uh, subterfuge, she named the mystery child after the mystery father? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, maybe. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, that, she's dumb enough to do she it. Is. Um, <laughs> she is. She was techno impregnated. If you have no idea what we're talking about, just Google January no, Jones, it's gonna, it's, Child. No, no. <laughs> donate to Patreon and we'll give donate you the real the... scoop. We'll give you the real news. None of that we got, stuff we got out the there. I None got the papers stuff. right here. I got, I, I got it right here. I got the birth certificate. Uh, as the, the authorities arrive at Matthew's house, let's play a brand new game. Whoa. Whoa. A brand new one. Man, new stuff for Totally tubular. Tubular. Man, that's tubular. bitching, bro. Wow. Bitching, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Yeah. Hey, bro. You get, hey, bro. Shaka, bro. Hey, bro. You going to come back to Miami, bro? <laughs> Stop it. Stop fucking quoting to Paul Walker's not going furious. anywhere. You son of a bitch. I hate that line so much, and you know I hate it. Come on, bro. So come back to Miami, bro. Hey, come back to Miami, bro. <laughs> God, it makes me want to fucking drill a hole in my own head. Oh, boy. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's celluloid. Get the demons mastery. out. <laughs> Get the devil out of his head. Time for a segment where the boys determine the plausibility of Hollywood news. It's believable or bullshit. Believable or bullshit. This is a brand new segment where I state something Ooh. that Ooh. might happen in the future. Bullshit. And Ooh. these fine fellows will state if the thing that I state is believable. Hmm. Or bullshit. Here comes the first one, you guys. Oh, yes. man, this is going to be exciting. Yes. It's exciting. Right it's exciting. All right. It's new. Exciting. Believable or bullshit. The hiring of Walter Amata as DC's chief executive, i.e. the Kevin Feige role, will solidify the DC film universe and get them finally on track in making competent films. Believable or bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> Who's this guy? Walter Hermata? Walter Hermata. I'm surprised you don't know him, uh, Matthew. He makes he sounds like my like world. 11th grade he, Spanish teacher. Well, he produced. Uh, I think he had something to do with the It movie and uh, the Insidious franchise. Uh, no, now so he's, he's, in a, he's of, a, so he's a Warner bro all the way. Yeah, he's a bro, but apparently yeah. he's now the Kevin Feige of the uh, Jeff Johns is kicked to the curb, and now they got the this dude. And then Justin automatically, without any hesitation, nope. just oh. went right for no. the. I don't. <laughs> well, is it okay? I'm trying to. Okay, is it believable bullshit that we think it's? Won't yes, it's what be you good? think. What you be, What do you believe? You have to ask what yourself, you, Doctor Jones. Do what do you believe? <laughs> Trust only the penitent no man one. will pick. <laughs> only the penitent man. The penitent only man. The penitent man. man. <laughs> <laughs> he made it through. Independent. <laughs> I am the father of the sea. <laughs> stop it! Stop it, Salah. So uh, Justin bu- is saying bullshit on that. He does not believe uh, anybody will write the ship on DC. No, I, I know. I know the secret life of uh, Walter. Yeah. Oh, really? Secret Life of Walter Hermano. <laughs> Walter Mitty over there? <laughs> uh, hmm. uh, yeah, why not? I believe it. Anything's better than what's going to happen. <laughs> Matthew has well, so has so much a- apathy to this yeah, subject. It really sounds like you believe it. I do. do I'm trying to believe. Hey, man, I'm, I try, think I'm you trying to go into this year with a new outlook on everything. So are we. Optimism, yeah. huh? So are we. So, are we. <laughs> so Justin, you... Bullshit. So you, there's no, there's nothing this guy can do. He, he has to. He, you think we're still on a, a train to nowhere? What's his, uh, what's his role as a, as a young? What's his role? <laughs> he's Kevin Feige. He's essentially DC's yeah. Kevin. No Feige. bullshit. He's he's a, he's the Sandman. He's putting <laughs> you to sleep. WB has other problems too. Um, going all the way to the head of the studio. So um, mm. you need to cut the head of the snake. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Who's start, the head start, of the snake? Kick, kick the door in those offices and start cutting heads off. Is it Bugs Bunny? Who the hell's head? <laughs> I mean, it's probably Daffy. It's got to be Daffy. Daffy's Duff. probably in charge, yeah. yeah. Yosemite Sam, maybe. Most likely. At least it'd be more entertaining if it was Yosemite Sam. Oh, hey, do, God. Do, do, got do you guys know people that say, Yo, Yo, uh, they say Samity Sam instead of Yosemite Sam? No, those are called idiots. Okay. All right, here goes They the should next. bring the Looney Tunes back, you know? That's what I'm saying. No, they did with they, Brendan Fraser. They tried to bring him back Hart. in action. Do you remember? Were, do you remember that? Not, not very <laughs> they good. Tried they to paid a lot back. of money. To get them taken out just of redo. Money. Just redo uh, Space Jam, like they've been talking about forever. I'm talking cartoons no. and shit. You know, like on TV. They, they had cartoons, and you you must have not seen this Looney Tunes back in action movie. No, I no, am familiar. Like, he's talking about like the, he wants like Mary, like Mary Melodies, like the old no, like six wants, minute cartoons. Uh, <laughs> Bugs Bunny and blackface is what you want. Ooh, yeah. Just bring it back to the '40s where everything hates sense. <laughs> and everybody well, just wears on. their racism on their sleeve. We're on the way. All right, here comes the next one. Believable or bullshit. 
Deadpool 2 moving up its release date against the Han Solo film was the first sign that Solo, a Star Wars story, a film everyone feared would be a Frankenstein <laughs> patchwork job that nobody really wanted, was actually a Frankenstein patchwork job that nobody really wanted, and it flounders at the box office. Uh, Believable or bullshit? I'm going to call bullshit. Really? You yeah, think we it's knew. Actually, good. We. No, no, no. I. No, you didn't say you, it was going to be good. No, no, no. no, no I no, said no. it was going to fail. So you say it's not going to fail. You're saying because because Deadpool has moved up. Yeah, you, yeah, you say they're hedging sign. their bets. So you think yeah, they're hedging so you, their bets. You're bet. not saying if the movie's good or bad. It's you're kind just of like saying an outlier. You can take it all together if you want. Well, we knew Solo was in trouble since day one. <laughs> Last year. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, this movie comes out in May, right? Mm hmm. And you have wow, a really? trailer. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we mate, barely this, have this, a poster. <laughs> we did there, there is no like poster. A fake Japanese one. No, it was a Japanese one that got a Russian one that got leaked online. Mike just had that yeah. really cool yellow font. Yeah. Poster! <laughs> poster! <laughs> Solo! Mm. God. Yeah, so I'm saying it's bullshit because they knew for a while this movie was in trouble. There's a lot of issues with it. Apparently, the script at one point was called the best script. Of uh, Star Wars Apparently. story, Apparently, yeah. and then all suddenly it just turned into this complete mess of, uh, you know, it, it led nowhere. Um, there was a lot of, I mean, that's why the guys were were um, those two directors were fired Let because go. of Phil Lord and uh, relieved of their Miller. duties. Yeah, there was so much uh, <laughs> made up Mil on set. Chris, uh, it was Phil Miller, Phil Lord, Chris uh, Miller. I, I mean, no one really, no one ever asked for this, but uh, we're, we're being given it. So this is. Uh, Especially after the Last Jedi, this is uh, starting to really. I'm sh I'm sure I'm sure Disney and all those guys over there, Lucasfilm. Uh, I was already written this film off since uh, since. So day you're one. you're thinking? I guess what I'm asking you here is, yeah. you think the movie will fail and I'm, flounder? I'm, I'm at the calling box it off. believable because I think they're hedging their bets at this point. Mm. They're like, yeah, eh, Deadpool. Everybody loves Deadpool. Uh, and now that sure. Deadpool is now under the, under the same umbrella, might as, might as, well, might as well cover, cover I, your ass. You yeah. know, I, I don't even know I want to see Solo. I, I, I doesn't Nobody really knew if they wanted to see Solo. Well, That's the problem. Well, and the thing is, we haven't seen a trailer or anything of it. So, like, we, we, have, we have no idea. Nothing. We, have we no haven't idea. even heard his voice as Solo yet. We don't even know what the fuck I don't even know what he looks like. Sounds like doing Han Solo. It's January right now. It yeah. comes yeah. out in May. <laughs> <laughs> we have no... Nothing. Because somebody it. told me, somebody went to me, he's like, well, John Wick only had a trailer two weeks before. I go, that's John, that's John Wick. Wick. It's like a fucking That's, that's a movie that nobody film. had any expectation for, you <laughs> fucking asshole. It's just Han fucking Solo. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it makes me feel, I mean, even Rogue One, which was like replete with fuck ups and, and reshoots and all types of shit. They had trailers. They had multiple trailers like way ahead of time. One in yeah. August and the movie came out in December. This is like three months out and the shit's just like, eh. This movie's a, probably just going to be fine. You know, it's just going to be fine. It's going to be there. It's going to be in the theaters for, it's going to make a, uh, Three hundred million dollars, if not more, hmm. domestically. Well, I, hope, I hope it's more than that. Well, <laughs> making... I'm saying domestic, domestically. I'll make three hundred. Well, I mean, it's apparently Star Wars' legs aren't long in um, China. The, the Last Jedi was so. If it's making three hundred million domestic, that means it's probably going to end up with like five hundred million, maybe worldwide. So I that's. Uh, woof. I think th I think this one was the experiment to see if uh, standalone character films will work. And the only thing I, uh, I think it sucks because th I think this film is the film that's going to, if it's good, will do the Obi One movie. But if it fails, eh, we won't do the Obi One movie. But the Obi One movie is way more interesting than this fucking Han Solo movie. I don't give a shit about. And you want an Obi One movie? I, if it's Ewan McGregor, hell yeah! I, want I feel like I got Obi Wan stuff and uh, uh, all the other feel... cartoon stuff. No, well, you're talking about the animated series. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's true. I mean, you that's see, true. you saw, you saw him fight Darth Maul again, and you saw it's, other stuff. This, this whole thing is just odd. It's the whole thing's all fucked up. To be honest. Honestly, I mean, the Last Jedi was 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 fucking Disney saying, "Fuck you guys, we're not gonna do this old shit. We're gonna do some new shit." Yeah, and uh, but also we're gonna do the old shit and standalone stories <laughs> uh, films. Yeah. Um, it's kind of weird. I don't know. I'd rather to just blow it up and just start creating a whole new universe. Yeah. Um, mm. instead Stop of, uh, living in the past because you clearly killed all the, the past in this last movie. <laughs> Kill it. Kill the past. All right. All right. Here's the next one. They literally <laughs> said it in the fucking movie. Yeah. Fucking movie. All right. <laughs> I'm going to keep my last Jedi hate to myself here. Uh, oh, man. 
here we go. Believable or bullshit. Quentin Tarantino's Star Trek film will be a huge hit leading to Tarantino retiring on top after a job well done with a franchise nobody knew he actually gave a shit about. Believable or bullshit? Bullshit. Really? Okay, which part is bullshit? Because you're like halfing these questions. Yeah. <laughs> you're saying this QT is his is last gonna, hurrah. This is it. I'm saying it's no. a huge hit, and he retires on top. I'm sure it's a huge After hit. After Star Trek, no way. No, he's got he's got what two? Is it two or three or something? Well, like he that? has the, the the Charles Manson one. I'm assuming counts. So yeah. this would be the last one, I thought. Or maybe there's one that Star more Star Trek, Charles that. Manson, and I thought there was one more after that. I thought there was, okay, that's what one I'm One more sorry. period piece yeah. I thought he wanted to do. No, he, oh, he's, yeah, wasn't it like an Australian crime movie he was trying to do or something like that? He's going to yeah. finish with the original story from QT. Yeah. Unless, Not of course. Star Trek film. Unless, of course, he gets outed as a creep. Oh, God. Well, that's the next one. Always actually. keep that in the <laughs> time back of your mind. So. <laughs> Believable. Or. Bullshit. Despite all the casting, hiring, and eventual quitting and firing, there will actually one day be a Crow and Gambit movie. Believable or bullshit? <laughs> uh, hmm. I mean, anything's possible now. Believable. Mm, really? You think there's that? I mean, how many characters have they gone through with the Crow? Six? Six people? I'm trying to think of how many <laughs> Brandon, sequels they've had. There's Bradley uh, Cooper. There was Danny Houston. There was Jason Momoa. There was, uh, jo- jo- what's his name, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, uh, a shitload of people. Yeah, they'll, get it, they'll Ga- get it right at some point. Gambit has gone through three directors already, <laughs> so I don't, I don't know if they're ever going to be. So you well, think that- now, now that Disney's in charge, we're going to be forced to see a fucking Gambit movie, because there's no other way that you won't see a Gambit movie at this point. I think I'm with you, Matt, because I know you hate yeah. Gambit with a fire of a thousand suns. I don't think... They need a Gambit movie. Gambit yeah. is like a like a Hulk character. You can just put him in the back. But you're gonna get him, motherfucker. <laughs> you're fucking gonna get him. It's em. almost like a solo story. Yeah. Oh, Does a anybody movie? really uh, want? A are you solo saying story? a Frankenstein patchwork job that yeah. nobody really wanted? <laughs> wow, what a time to be alive. No, no, not really. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> enjoy, guys. It's like fucking old country buffet for everybody. Just yeah. fucking <laughs> shove it down your mouth and move on. You gotta take this fucking take gambit. the fucking, fucking gravy pipe, motherfucker. <laughs> you like the crow? You gotta fucking love the crow. Yeah, you're gonna you're eat crow, motherfucker. <laughs> you're gonna eat crow from the rim. You're gonna to the run stem, the fucking bitch. gamut of gambit and eat fucking crow. You fucking cocksucker. I don't really like him that much. Oh no, you're gonna fuck fucking you. like him. You're gonna, you're gonna fucking like. You're, you're gonna, gonna come back for you're more like, too. Stick you the like Channing Tatum? Right you like Magic Mike? Here's Magic Mike in your fucking mouth. Throwing playing cards. About to get a magic spike. Flinging sticks around and wearing trench coats in, in fucking Louisiana. That's what you're gonna get. Maybe oh. you should get Tommy Wiseau as game. Yeah, he's from yeah, Louisiana. He's from, he's from New Orleans. <laughs> New Orleans. New Orleans. <laughs> I'm from New Orleans. <laughs> Mark. Mm. Believable or bullshit? Uh. <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to Jesus get over the gambit. <laughs> it's Tommy Wiseau, and that fucking image is burned into my brain. Uh. <laughs> uh. After the success of Funny Man Jordan Peele's Get Out and Funny Man Danny McBride's Halloween remake, horror films surge past comic book movies as the new fan favorite genre, solidified by an eventual Critters remake by Funny Man Taika Waititi. Believable or Ooh. bullshit? I hope. Damn, I hope. I, I would like to believe hope. that. That'd be awesome. <laughs> what can dream? A, a rosy fucking picture for you? Is that believable for you? A little Critters I, remake? I, 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 mm. It's not, but I hope. I made that last part up, but I mean, I'm just saying. If anybody's going to do a Critters remake, I'd give it to Taika Waititi. <laughs> I would. I'd give him anything. He gets like sitting at people's tables now. Is that what he does? I mean, he's a fucking table crasher. Mom, table he's crasher. sitting at my table again. <laughs> <laughs> Taika's at my table again. I'm a giant rock man. I'm a rock person. <laughs> it's like Billy Joel. It's like you're sitting at home watching TV. It's like, it's like, ah, damn, Billy Joel drove through my fucking house again, right through the wall. <laughs> this is the third time in three years, man. That's, that's a deep cut there. Fucking deep Billy cut. Joel. <laughs> Google, do, Google Billy Joel driving to your house. <laughs> hey, play piano, man. <laughs> hey, get off my grandma. All right. Uh... 80s Joel doo wop sucks. <laughs> All right, here comes the next one. Believable. Or bullshit. 
Despite complaints about Marvel's film's lack of stakes from critics, Avengers Infinity War will follow the comic book so accurately that it replicates its conclusion where all the characters, even the villain, ultimately survives. Believable or bullshit? I believe that. You think hmm. they will make a movie where everybody lives, including no. the villain? Like Why not? It's, it's got to be a happy ending. No. I don't, I don't know. Because <laughs> it's, it, it's, There's some it's, death. It, <laughs> the people are gonna die been, but then by the end they're gonna be brought back to life or some shit do you know the bo- that, well, that's the comic book that's yeah. this is the this is the problem the, the hole or the corner they painted themselves in is that they keep bringing people back to life but this is the only movie in the comic book or at least the only storyline in the comic book where the characters are actually supposed to come back to life hmm. well, who <laughs> but do you, if they who, do who it do you, now they're gonna be fucking crucified for doing it well who yeah. do you think's gonna be the who, who's the low hanging fruit that they're gonna finally oh, do away uh, with Iron Man is low as fuck you think, okay, Tony Stark's gonna bite it uh, <laughs> you think Hawkeye's finally gonna get gone it, it'd be really bad if Hawkeye died because he has a family and he got the wife and I mean kill they, the, they kill already, the family they yeah, yeah make his the stakes even the higher of, but they had to fake his death the last Avengers movie, so they can't head fake his death again for the second uh, Avengers movie. I'm I think still, I'm still hanging my hat on uh, on uh, Spider Man a little bit. Spider Man is not. They're, they're starting filming this new movie. I'm telling next, you. Yeah, but who's gonna be playing Spider Man? Him still? He signed a three year deal. Well, the, that year's about to be up. Three bitch. three movie three, three movie <laughs> deal. Excuse me. <laughs> you can't kill Spider Man. Spider Man uh, is clean. You just cast. I don't know. Can't the best step on him. You, yeah, no, he's a spider no. man. You guys are such fucking anarchists. You just cast the best person to play Peter Parker in the history of fucking. Blow it up! You're gonna kill him off. Blow in it one up, movie? man! Blow let the world up. let the, watch it burn. Let the world burn a little bit. That's like, hey, we got we got Robert Downey Jr. to play Iron Man, Iron Man One. Hey, let's kill him in the next movie. Yeah, you just got him. He's the perfect person to play the character. You got it. Okay, you just said, and they kind of did. Stakes in this make makes make, get the stakes <laughs> high on this shit. Then make make it fucking uh, fuck some people can, up. Trust me, you can kill many more people than Spider Man to keep the stakes high. You can kill Captain America, you can kill fucking Thor, you can kill the whole. Oh, no, oh man, what if, what if they killed Black Panther? No, again, first off, can't do that. Second off, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> It'd be a first great scene, all, too. It would be a fantastic <laughs> scene, like some hunter is like hunting and he like shoots. You, you, want me to write the, you want me to write the piece for you right now that's in your face, motherfucking anarchist? Hey, the first time a black guy gets a movie, you kill him off in the next fucking uh, team up movie? Oh the black guy, God. guys, all the other Marvel characters live with the black guy. That's the fucking think piece that you're asking for with that bullshit. So, no, yeah. Black Panther will live. I think the piece is about this regardless, so it doesn't matter. I think what happens is everyone's about to die. And then this is the time Marvel and Disney utilize their properties and have Star Wars actually come in. Yes, Han Solo Marvel comes in. <laughs> Han Solo, I'm back. Yeah. Like, like, it's like, good to be home. Where the fuck is home? Where, where, the, where the fuck, the fuck am, am I? I? Joey! <laughs> Joey! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? <sighs> no, okay, so sucks. you're saying Iron Man. I think Iron Man is dead. I Just think, think of the fucking balls it would, it, they, it would take if they like got rid of Black Panther right away. What it about won't Captain happen. Captain America. That'd be fucking insane. No, I, I literally just said it. Captain America and Iron Man are like the lowest of the hanging of yeah. fruit. How about yeah. Falcon? Uh, Falcon, he could, he could die. If you want to kill a black guy so bad, I don't want to kill a black guy. I'm just saying, what, who's gonna <laughs> because be you like black fruit? people to die so yeah. much, Matthew, Mr. Scarlet Witch. If you're gonna, you gonna die, what too? If all the black people die in this movie. <laughs> oh man, I'll be marching. I'll be marching on <laughs> be marches Orlando in Trump's America. We're all dead anyway. <laughs> it's true. We're all specters. Yeah, we're all just a fucking game. We're all we're all just pawns in this game. Well, you know, you know, Black Widow's gonna. She's got her she's got her own movie coming. Out. That's why I think yeah. she might die because they said that movie might be a prequel. So when they yes. said that, I was like, oh, uh, another yeah, prequel, just uh, like Solo. Here we go. And you another can't really prequel. even do that because you better hurt. I mean, I think it's too late for that because Jennifer Lawrence is like, well, if you're not gonna do the Black Widow movie, I'll do the Black Widow movie with a different fucking name. <laughs> Jennifer that Lawrence? Red Sparrow bullshit, yeah. yeah. You've seen the trailer for Red Sparrow? Oh, I, saw, yeah. I saw the little clip. It looks like uh, Lucy. It, well, Lucy had like supernatural shit going well, on. Well, maybe she's going to have like supernatural stuff. No, no, she's just a fucking spy. It's literally, if you look at the synopsis, oh, so it's, it's like Black Widow story. blonde meets Lucy. Yeah, it's just with dull acting like usual with her. Oh, <laughs> ooh. Oh. 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 oh, oh, man. Okay, last one. Believable. Or... Bullshit. After the success of the last James Bond film starring Daniel Craig, James Bond Daniel Craig will change his mind and re-sign for another four movies. Believable or bullshit? Bullshit, because each yourself oh. is going to be James Bond. 
fucking is. Listen, I laugh. I laugh at that. But continue. <laughs> it could happen. Yes. Yes. Grandpa's gonna be James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna have. How old is he right now? I think he's like 48, 49. Yeah, he'll be he'll be in his fifties. So yeah, that that's gonna be possible. Yes, I love how the internet has to keep harping on that. You know, there are other people out there. Yes, sure. I mean, I love the sure. guy. He's Is a great it because guy. Because they want Idris Elba, or they just so badly don't want like a white guy. They want something different. No, I think it's because I think it's a little bit of everything. I think it could be. Why not make it a female? New? Why not make James James Bond just the title? Why? They, they Why? Tried. They Why? Tried. Tommy they tried. Blonde. Tommy Blonde. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> they, they tried. <laughs> Let's they make tried. Han Solo Soul. a female. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody was like, why don't you make Han Chadwick just Boseman title, blonde? Anyway, and I, somebody goes, why don't you make Chadwick Boseman blonde on Twitter to me? I, I forget who asked me that. And I was like, well, <laughs> honestly, you don't really need Chadwick Boseman to be Bond. If I was Chadwick no. Boseman, I'd be like, fuck that. I'll make a character that's better than Bond. Exactly yeah, my point. <laughs> Create a different property. Yeah. This is no. an old, old property. And and you know what? You know, maybe maybe <sighs> the Bonds need to die. Oh, oh wait, there you are go. you fucking are you Destroy Kylo Ren James Bond? Yes. <laughs> Kill it. Kill Destroy it. All. it. Destroy Here's it. It's old. Uh, Craig, I think he knows last Bond film. Not great. Um, a lot yeah. of problems. A lot, problems. lot of fucking yes, problems. A lot. a lot of good shit, but you a could lot have just made uh, what do you call it? The uh, Skyfall should have been the final James Bond they ever made. There you go. If, if it right. would have went out with that, if that was his, la- if that was Daniel Craig's last Bond, best Bond. If that was the best, if that was the, the last Bond. Shit. Period. No, no, okay. not even any more James Bond films. Done. Yeah, that's Over I mean, with. Skyfall complete. Complete. Why, why are we watching Skyfall? <laughs> I haven't seen that. I haven't seen it since quit, the theater. Let's just quit the show on this. Dude you know my favorite right, part of that film, the, the Komodo Dragon. I'm, scene. <laughs> I'm going to go watch Skyfall, guys. I'm out of here. All right, see you guys. <laughs> see you, bye. I'll meet you out there. I'll meet you at the farm. This has been Believable or Bullshit. The only thing unbelievable about it is we're still on the air. I've always hated this house. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, do a little TV roundup. <laughs> TV roundup. Uh... <laughs> Shut <laughs> the that... fuck up. We're moving on. <laughs> With that comment, I will go to Matthew first. What have you been watching, Matthew? <laughs> oh. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Actually, I've uh, been watching The Crown. You caught up with the crown? Are, am I the only? I'm not <gasps> the only one watching it anymore. I'm almost, I'm almost done with the. First, we're on episode eight of season one. So wow! The, yeah, look at that. Watching some TV. I, I, I'm surprised. I'm shocked I myself. I was, I was about to. I was about to spoil it for you. I had I a mild you know, stroke. Too. Well, Jim Ross from WWE. Good God! Now, do you Martin. agree with me that? Do you agree with me that Matt? <laughs> this is the best Matt Smith has ever been in anything. Because I, I'm not a big huge I Doctor liked, Who uh, fan. I liked him in. I, uh, I liked him in Lost River. I thought he was pretty good in that. But he played like Lost a psychopath River, I, in that. I, I didn't see Lost River. I got oh, it's, it's not it's that great. Mo- yeah. it's, well, it's, a, it's it's a different it's type of movie. Yeah, mm. it's it's a what's his name? Great uh, score. What's his name? Brian Brian Gosling directed. That's it. the Canadian. Oh yeah, yeah. I never I never seen it. I've only seen Matt Smith in uh, Doctor Who, which he, I thought he was kind of weird. But it's Doctor Who. So yeah. I, 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 and the fucking Terminator Gen- Genesis. Genesis. Movie. That's the only two movies. And then I saw him in the crowd. I was like, wow, he's actually really good. <laughs> he's, he's, he's good. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's intriguing. I didn't think I was going to get into it because it's like weird British uh, drama bullshit. But mm. uh, you- it's got some good Game of Thrones type stuff kind of going on in it with the uh, kind yeah. of uh, politics going on. Right. Jared uh, just, Harris is really good in the first season. Jared Even Harris, he's, he's got an excellent cough. Really. His yeah. cough is, is exquisite. Um, John Lithgow is fucking great. John Lithgow is fucking dope. You I know like, who's really good in that show? Mm. And she's not... You're in the first season. Wait, I'm, gonna, I'm interested to hear what happens in the second... When you see the second season. She gets better. Mm. Is the sister. She is fucking phenomenal. The one that, the the one that was fucking the pilot? Yeah, the okay. one that was the one that they, she won't let her get married or some shit like that. Oh yeah, so you can't marry a to. commoner. You could be yeah, obligated. Yeah. And all she, that she's kind of like on the on the you know in the in the outskirts in the first season, but in the second season they dedicate this whole storyline with her and Matthew Good. Uh, Matthew Good, uh, Ozyman- oh, yeah, shit. in the second season, Ozymandias, yeah, it's huh. and she is phenomenal in that, and not a lot of um, not a, not a little less of uh, what's her, what I don't think there's any Lithgow in the second season, no. So yeah, yeah. It, well, it's, it's well, it really... seems like in the first season that he's on the way out. He's, it looks yeah. like he's about to uh, uh, not make it. I don't think he's gonna make not... it. <laughs> 
pass the old cane yeah. over. Sorry, <laughs> history spoil alert. If you haven't been around for like seventy fucking years, Churchill's not alive. This is a anymore. real story, everybody. So <laughs> fuck off. All right, but uh, yeah. no, it, it's 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 good. I I like it. I, I need subtitles most of the time watching it, but no, it, it's all good. You know what I find doing when I'm watching that show is comparing it to the King's Speech because Jared Harris is the yes, common first yes, role. Yes, that's what I thought was and, really cool about it. And uh, and the uh, Guy Pierce is the brother, but I don't I don't know the actor who plays the brother in the show. But yeah, I, don't know. I, I like think Guy I like Pier- the brother though. The brother's a fucking asshole. He's he's so dude, fucking again, good. He's I like, cannot oh, wait for you to get this the second fucking season. family. I learned I learned <laughs> I learned shit from from about the, about that guy because I, I mean I'm bad at history that they reveal in the second season where because the second season is kind of like they show you this crazy shit you're like that's crazy that must have not happened <laughs> and at the very end they will show you the actual people doing the crazy shit <laughs> and I won't spo- and I won't spoil unless you want to Wikipedia it what that the brother does unless you want to crack it, open it, your uh, European history book. <laughs> yeah, let's you crack open the European history. When you find out what the brother does, it is fucking nuts. <laughs> Where I was like, at the end of the episode, like this, this seems a little bit like they, little they made it up, and and then they show you the pictures of the actual brother doing the thing they showed you. You're just like, what? Ah, <laughs> what the fuck? I think I like that. But yeah. Oh, and uh, Hans Zimmer does the opening uh, score for the love that song. score. It's fucking good. It's good. Hans Zimmer. <laughs> Hans Zimmer craps good scores. It's like that eh, when a crowd. I would score. let Hans Zimmer like take a shit on my chest. Whoa. Yeah, well, here's well, the thing it about was Han. Mus- it was like, metaphorically like musical shit. Hans been getting too much work too, you know. He's he is getting work. Hans, right? Booby, <laughs> calm the fuck down. Some He's not sh- getting work like G- him and Giancino are like sl- in, a, in, a, in a sweatshop somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but some of Hans shit like kind of yeah, you know. Some of it's oh, yeah. Like which one you didn't like? Just merges all together. No, it's just it's just too much. Hans. A lot of it like, sounds the same. Just like John Williams, a lot of his yeah. shit ends up sounding the same too. Yeah, when you when you when composers do way too much, like Hans has done like every fucking movie every, the last ten yeah. years. <laughs> Everything. Um, <laughs> it's some beautiful scores, and uh, this is some of them kind of. Sound the similar. Who, who, I did, still who, think... did this, who did the score for Shape of Water? Probably Hans. No, no, he just won. The, it was a, it was, a, it was the plot. He just won the Golden Globe for it. I think. Yeah, because uh, that fucking score is great. I digress. Yeah. yeah, but Hans Zimmer needs to chill the fuck out. Chill. <laughs> hey, hey, Zimmer, chill the fuck chill out. The fuck. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> So, sit, sit the fuck down. It's like Danny like, Elfman, you know. After a while, like Danny Elfman, it's like the same shit over and over. Yeah. Wait, you don't you don't like that? That sounds like the fucking underworld in Mario Super Mario. Da, 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 <laughs> uh, Justin, what have you been watching on the uh, boob tube? Well, like we talked before, I'm just finishing up the wire. I'm on the, I'm almost uh, on the. You're, you're almost at the end of the wire. I'm almost at the end of Getting the. Get down to the wire. Hey, Oma, 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 Oma. Uh, oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! It's Oma. It's Oma. I'm finishing up the season four, so I'm on a last season five, which uh, wrapped up. Which is the ten- one I, I keep asking. I always mm-hmm. forget the year. What is the season with the school and the kids? Season three. Season four. Is it three or four? Four. Four? Four, okay. That, what, that what was, was my three, favorite then? season. Oh, three's when Stringer Bell gets got. Yeah, you got okay. it. You got it. Spoiler alert, but yeah. yeah. Oh, come on. That show's like a fucking 15 years old. 20 years old. If you haven't seen The Wire, I'm years. sorry. Come on. I'm <laughs> sick of the spoiler you're shit. Okay, look. You're going to get spoiled if shit's old. Fuck off. <laughs> no. it's ten, okay. years. 10 years it ended. So. Speaking of Idris Elba as James Bond. Hey, and Jaws, the shark started. gets blown up. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Yes. So yeah, you like? Are you enjoying the wire? I am enjoying it uh, quite a bit. It's uh, it's been uh, quite captivating. I'm enjoying. Who's the... your favorite character? I mean, uh, Obama's was Omar, so I'm assuming. Uh... I like Omar a lot. Uh, I like Bubbles. You know, I like Bubbles. Bubbles a lot is as well. a fucking super saddest <laughs> character in the whole. Fucking How do you show. like McNulty? You like McNulty? I, I like McNulty. I like the uh, change of his <laughs> I character. I feel like Justin would play McNulty in a yeah. in like a remake of The Wire. <laughs> a remake of uh, The Wire. Yeah. We got Justin as McNulty. That'd be great. <laughs> what the fuck did I do? <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. I can literally I, fucking I'm, see I'm it. I'm seeing it. I'm visualizing it right now. <laughs> I can see it. It's in front of me. <laughs> All right. Well, I do somewhat have a drinking problem. So <laughs> Justin Pulisi as Dominic West as McNulty. <laughs> as McNulty and uh... Jimmy. In a remake of The Wire. In The Wire. A two-day yeah, it's remake. It's The Wire. It's got a lot of great uh, characters in it, though. There was that one scene, and I think they should teach it in schools, because it's the one, I think it might be the first season, where there's 
a entire scene where they only say the word fuck. Oh yeah, that's and it's that's the, like the it may be one of the best scenes on television. Yeah, it, it, it's, lo- it's like three fucker. minutes long. It's a long scene yeah. where it's like fuck, 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 fuck motherfucker, fuck man, fuck, fuck. fuck. The fuck. whole scene. Google it. it it's like, or YouTube it. It's yeah. worth your time just to show you how you can story tell with literally. Simplicity reviews. One word. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just one word. You see where we got our shit from? Yeah, shit. we got it from fucking The Wire with yeah. fucking McNulty. Fuck and, yeah. Uh, what bunk. The, what the hell's the name of his partner? Bunk. 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 Yeah, bunk. yeah. Bunk just saying fuck for like 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Watch that forever. Fuck yeah. What else have you been watching other than The Wire? It's been mostly just The Wire. Um, you know, yeah, other yeah, than... The uh, Wire Tunnel. Yeah, it's, I've been kind of focused on The Wire, trying to, trying to get it finished um since i've uh, never got to see the end of it so um you know i i kind of know what's going to happen from uh you know all these years of hearing all the little spoilers but uh it's Spoiler, enjoyable baltimore to watch. explodes yes it's, baltimore explodes, explodes in the nuclear. fireball nuclear baltimore explosion like on 24 into <laughs> remember when that, that, that nuke went off on 24 xander berkeley as we were talking about oh, earlier God. <laughs> It all comes fucking back around. A moment of television. Yeah, When's 24 comes coming back? back? <laughs> never. Never. Dr. You know Dre it's coming back. Dr. Dre murdered that. Uh... <laughs> Dr. Dre was in 24? Dr. Dre was the fucking Jack Bauer role in the new 24. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Justin, am I making this the fuck up? <laughs> Dr. Dre, like, like steal DRE? Dr. Dre? No, the guy, the guy who played Dr. Dre in the fucking Oh, I thought, the real, I thought the real Dr. Dre. <laughs> you thought it was real? Yes, I did. <laughs> It was called 24 Hours to Live or something, right? Some bullshit like 24 that. 24 Hours to Live. Oh. I saw like 15 Not Legacy. Legacy, Legacy was the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Was, was, was it was Legacy like, like the made-for-TV movie or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. think. Yeah, that was our bad. That's when he cuts off the fucking Chinese guy's head and, or Korean guy's head. And he's like, look, I got your fucking head. What? Whoa. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you remember. At the conclusion of the Jack Bauer last movie, whatever the fuck it was. Live another he day? Finds, yeah, like, uh, yeah. And he fucking cuts off the Chinese guy's head and he fucking holds it. Holds it up with a camera like he kills. He cuts his head off with a sword. Whoa, like a samurai sword. Yeah, man. Damn, on a boat. Whoa, <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Jesus, it's crazy. I, I was like, watch. that's that's a perfect way for Jack Bauer to go out. You don't need. That's a, he started cutting off, off, off an Asian head. man's head and holding up, yelling at it. <laughs> ah, you tortured me for two years. Ah. I know. He's, anyway. he's a little angry. I think. <laughs> I mean, if you tortured me a for two bit. years, I probably did the same yeah, shit. Three you, years, however long. Most ago. people get over it though. Well, not Jack Bauer. Not Jack Bauer. No, 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 no. That those, guy is dead as. Those were events on television that I miss uh, waiting for. I tell you that. Yeah, man. Yeah, that was something to look forward movies. to. You don't have anything to look for on television anymore. You know, the only thing we watch when we do these these little segments on TV, it's mostly like on demand. Um, <laughs> yeah, Netflix, it's that's uh, old. yeah, Amazon. Yeah. Uh, I, I keep the. I, I'm usually the one that's watching. The you movie are stuff. And, yeah, you're the only you one that like, watching them. I, I've never turned into like tuned into like cbs or nbc no. in like the yeah. maybe like no. four yeah, years now no. four or five years i i i mean speaking of which uh <laughs> i started uh, did, you get, e, uh, did you get to cbs all access <laughs> i do have cbs all access you Why? would you and fucking would you have, have that <laughs> i'm joking i have not, of course i don't have cbs DJ, all get, DJ got discovery for your star trek discovery I have watched all episodes of Star Trek Discovery, but I do not have CBS access. You just do the math on that one. I uh, did. I don't, I don't understand what that even means. But and okay. the math okay. does not add up, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need to be answering some questions. <laughs> Go, come get me. You watch uh, Discovery? I have watched every episode of Discovery. Oh, well, and tell every us about episode, it. Yeah. And every episode of The Orville. I've watched both of them. Oh, my so, God. Oh, my God. Yeah. You, you, yeah. yeah. Orville Redenbacher. Um, <laughs> At the beginning of... <laughs> oh, throwing dies, up. <laughs> as Justin dies, uh, the Orville is... Uh, at, at, the fir- at the beginning, I didn't understand Star what Trek. trying to do. It's I, feel doing... like it's a, I feel like it's a cheap Galaxy Quest show. No, no. This, this is the difference. This is what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be Galaxy Quest. And Turns out it was in, Star was Trek. Like, give me Galaxy Quest and I'll be fine. And it wasn't giving me Galaxy Quest. As Red Letter Media pointed out, it's giving you Star Trek and Next Generation. And every five seconds... Like, not five seconds. Every... Once in a while, they'll make a dick joke, ah. and it's like, what, what, what? And they go right back to like straight. And Star like, Trek Discovery is Star Wars. And th- no, here's the difference between Star Trek Discovery <laughs> and Star Wars. Star Wars is fun. Oh. <laughs> and the thing about the they go, it's like the J.J. Abrams universe. No, I think you guys must. When you say that, you actually hate the J.J. Abrams universe because J.J. Abrams universe also fun. 
There is no fun to be had in the Star Trek Discovery universe. It's just no. murder and death, and and nobody likes each other. And they say the fuck. They say fuck. Ooh, and what they say fuck and cling on. Oh yeah. my god, yeah. They say fuck, yeah, they're showing fuck. Klingon tits, they say shit. Whoa. It's just so they say dark fuck. and depressed. They say fuck and it's followed up by a fuck. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, like if, it's like if The Walking Dead were to do a Star Trek show. It's very, very Not dour good. and non-fun. So it's like Battlestar Galactica, but like even darker. He, he, no, no he, here's the thing. Here's the thing about Discovery. You don't want to watch it. It's not. It, it's a. It's. Not, I don't want to say it's a chore for me to watch it. It's a chore. But there, there's never a time like. <laughs> DJ watches heard, you show, so you don't have to. <laughs> when I when I heard these uh when I heard Red Letter Media talking about it and they were like you know it's like the JJ Abrams Star Trek I got really mad because I'm like, you guys don't remember how fun 2009 JJ Abrams Star Trek was if you it was even if you don't well, like it no I, there I, is I, there is levity in there <laughs> there's some there's jokes I think it's, it's regarding the action and and I guess, shooting yeah. the way that, the is, way the shots were uh, I feel like composed. there's two camps there's like old school Star Trek from back in the day Shatner. And then there's right. everything else. So anything that's not Shatner they is going to be together. considered into fucking J.J. Abrams. Because then everybody forgets about fucking Next Generation or uh, right. Enterprise. Or, or, or Nobody Orville ever clear, forgets about Next Generation. Orville is clearly Next Generation. <laughs> but, uh, but Star Trek Discovery, to me, is like if you take away all the fun from the J.J. Abrams universe and you make the, the budget lower. That's discovery. It's, Where, and even like in, in the Star Trek, the, the, the J.J. Abrams one, you like, though they're iconic characters. Discovery, I can, I, I've seen every episode. I can't name more than two characters. I know Michael, which is the female leader, uh, the, the, the the lead on the show, who is the most uninteresting character. The Doug Jones character, I don't know his fucking name. And then there's the captain, Jason Isaac, Captain Bad Guy. I don't Captain Bad Guy? Know. Is that his real name? I hope it is. <laughs> The helmsman, the fucking like, there's the guy who's the guy that left the super- ship when it ex- yeah. when it exploded. Right, right. The guy, who, the, uh, the 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 person in the Sulu role, the person in the checkoff role, the person in the Scotty role. I don't know who these fucking people are, and I don't really care because they're just uninteresting and they're so. Uh, yeah, you don't want to do a whole season like that. Maybe no. you would do the, the season uh, like normal, and then maybe three or four episodes. You kind of go down this way. You know, the darkness and the... Uh... You know what it kind of remi- reminds me of? And then I'm, I'm seeing it out loud. It kind of reminds me of The Last Jedi. <laughs> oh, boy. As it's like, hey, you like your... You, you like, like your Star Trek just? stuff? You like your Star Trek stuff? Fuck you. Eat a dick. You're yeah. going to fucking take this fucking Star Trek and you're going to like it, you fucking piece Suck of shit. Suck on That's this phaser, like. you fuck. <laughs> you fuck. Hey, you, you, like, you like some levity in your Star Trek universe? No. You like fucking, uh, you know, diplomacy and maybe like an overarching met. No, fuck you. Fuck you. It's going to be fucking long form storytelling. It is a big fuck fucking you. enjoy it. <laughs> CBS <laughs> is really saying fuck you to a lot of people. Uh, and, and I mean, to get to a show that I actually liked that I didn't get to talk about last time, so I wanted to just throw it in there. Really oh, bad. sorry. Please. Please. Jeez. please. Last ahead. episode, I, because Ugh. I forgot about it. God. Oh, sure. Not Man. because it wasn't good, because it's actually really good. Ugh, okay, uh, whatever. Okay, well. Mr. Robot season three. Oh. Mwah. Fucking Mwah. beautiful. Mwah. And don't kiss me. I'm going to kiss you. I'm going to kiss you right in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> because mainly because season two, they, they, everybody, I mean, a lot of people jumped ship after season two because it was the middle of an act kind of season. Because remember, as we always uh, say, this is a long movie. Mm-hmm. And season three, I think, got right back to episodes where you're like whole like the first season where your heart is pumping you don't know what the fuck is going to happen they had one uh, one episode that was one long shot 45 minutes uninterrupted one long shot like birdman it was fucking awesome the music mac quail who i think he does all the the synthy 80s uh music for mr robot i cannot wait i've never really bought a television soundtrack before i will buy all of his soundtracks they are the shit they're so good and i I know Christian Slater is kind of going through one of these sex deviant uh, asshole things right now. He's great is- on the show. Yeah, yeah. Who is? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. He's he's another creep. Yeah, he, yeah. he's another creep. Yes, uh, apparently. Uh, and, We're all uh, creeps. They're all creeps. But uh, Meryl Streep's daughter, uh, great on the show. Uh, Bobby Cannavale came on third season. He's he's limited. But every fucking scene he's in, he's great. If you jump ship on Mr. Robot after season two, and you're like thinking, maybe is it worth it? Not, not saying that after, after season three, I kind of know what's going on. I mean, I know what's going on, but it's not like it's, you know, it's not less. 
confusing, but it's way more enjoyable. Put well, how, it that way. Many, All the how crazy many more secrets. Are they, and, are they planning on for this? I think there's two more seasons they're planning after yeah. this. Oh, five. Yeah, and yeah. I think the the first season was built on one giant twist. The second one kind of took tried to do the same thing, and I think that was their mistake where they tried to give you a twist where it didn't really need to be a twist. Mm. Third season, not a lot of twists. It was just a straightforward storytelling, and it was great storytelling. But great I want twists. Twists. No, not I want twists. twists. Not, not twist, but I mean the direction. I, I I gotta look up who directed that episode where it was one shot. Yeah, I I, I almost had an anxiety attack watching the episode because it's just panic. The whole episode, you're panicked the entire time. So well, it's good. I I was waiting to the uh, season to be over because I wanted to binge watch it. I want I want you to watch it. I want yeah. you because I think when you get to that episode, I think it's episode <laughs> five or four, you're gonna be like, wow, this. I, it, it, it always the the wonders always catch me off guard where you don't notice it and then like twenty minutes in I'm watching this episode I was like wow oh, they haven't gone to commercial and then I like maybe twenty five minutes in, I was like wait a minute this is all one fucking take because the way they do it is so seamless you're you're caught up in the story because you don't really have time to Birdman kind of gives you time to breathe and relax there is no breathing and relaxing in this episode where everything is it's almost an escape. So yeah, I, I highly recommend if you if you're kind of iffy on going back to Mr. Robot, watch season three. It is worth your fucking time. Uh, the marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I told you Justin off <laughs> air. I tried to watch it twice. I fell asleep twice. That doesn't mean it's bad. I, I heard it's, like, it's like super super Jewy, right? A lot of Jews. <laughs> it, a lot of Jews. It, it's funny because I was telling Justin that the one thing that made me laugh in the first five minutes yeah. is Tony Shalhoub saying this thing at the at the wedding. He's like, uh, two cakes, one for eating. We're very happy. <laughs> he says it over and over. Very happy. And it was like, oh, that's funny. But I, it, it, <laughs> I, 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 I'm afraid to watch it again because I rarely fall asleep in movies. Rarely. Or TV shows or anything. <laughs> and if I'm falling asleep on your TV show, I don't. maybe it's just not for me. <laughs> Maybe and I think that might be the problem. I, I, I know it's winning all these awards, so marvelous, Mrs. Basil. Eh. But a, did, did you guys? Fan. Did we talk about uh, Big Little Lies? Did we talk about that at podcast or show? I never, yes, my, sis, my, you my did. sister did, did, told okay. me the whole story about it, but yeah. I didn't. I never watched. I thought it. you did. Yeah. She, she loved it. I'm pretty sure. It's, it did. Or maybe that good. was off air. But yeah, I don't know. It, it was good. It, it, I mean, you liked it. I, you liked it. I, I like everybody involved. I'm glad everybody involved is getting. I like everybody in it. Yeah, it's like I almost like everybody in it. Oh. Another show that may not be for me. It's a but twist. I know it's. I, know I, it's good. I think I think you would like it. I think the storytelling is pretty good. It's it's what who is it? Uh, Richard Richard not Richard Kelly. David E. Kelly. Richard David Greer. E. Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> David Dick, E. Kelly, who's uh, Kelly. Mr. Mr. Boston Legal. Yeah. Um, so you might like it. I don't know. It's just something about the whole desperate housewives y series. I, I never really liked it. Some the of that stuff is pretty stuff. funny though, but you get frustrated by some of it though. Yeah. But I, I don't I'm I have never been a big fan. Like I, I don't watch Scandal not because it's not good. I just don't like the gossipy sultry tone. Like that's still narc- Is that sultry. Quantico show still on the fucking air? That oh, shit I, I never like that either. Because it's just like, hey, they're they're FBI agents, but they're sexy and they have sex. So it's like, I don't Whoa. care. Fuck. I, don't, <laughs> I don't care. Well, <laughs> sign they're me sexy, up. Sexy, they have sex. And then the after most sex, interesting they part of Quantico sex. is the sex. No, man, the most interesting part of Quantico is fucking Quantico. That's why I watch Mindhunter. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah, well, they have sex again. In Netflix too. Netflix again. Netflix again. Another... What's Netflix Quantico? Was that NBC? First? That was ABC, I thought. Quantico was ABC. ABC? ABC? Yeah, so. Hey, how about that Inhuman show? (laughs) Let's go to break. (laughs) All right, Kristen, I am so excited that you've decided to do a podcast with me, but what are we going to do a podcast about? There's so many other movie podcasts. We've got to do something original. Well, you know, I'm a big fan of Disney movies. What about something like that? That's just kid stuff. What do we want to do that for? Did you know that The Avengers is a Disney movie? Or that Pulp Fiction is a Disney movie? Pulp Fiction is not a Disney movie. It's technically owned by Miramax, which is part of Disney. We are still going to talk about the Disney animated movies, though, right? I thought you said that was kid stuff. Well, you know, I've got two kids. i got to be a good dad and stuff. So be sure to subscribe to the Walt Set Me Podcast, where we discuss the various subsidiaries of the Walt Disney Studio, including the animated movies. It's available on iTunes, Podomatic, and wherever you find great podcasts. And I swear, it's not kid stuff. Sometimes, you just gotta sit back, talk into a microphone, and embrace the shame. This is Simply Ashamed. Simply Ashamed. This is the segment where we take turns standing up and admitting something we're ashamed of in relation to Hollywood. And in that circle of trust... 
we get judged and mocked for it. Um, yeah. Does anybody want to go first? Do you want, do you, Who wants want to, to stand go first? up? Do we, do we have to stand up? You can, you can stand up if you want. Oh. You, you, you can stay seated. It's okay. I always hate when you go to those group meetings and they tell you to stand. It's like, fuck, why am I standing for? You can see me. I'm right fucking here. The only here. part I like about these group meetings is when you get the donuts at the end of them. I'm six foot two. If you can't see me, I'm six foot two and I'm black. Yeah, you can't yeah, see me. Big, tall, black guy yeah, there. All right, yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hello. My name hey, is Justin yeah. Pelosi. Hey, man. Hi, Justin. Hey, Hi. Justin. What's going on, man? Hi. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm ashamed. Mm. I am ashamed to hear that the, uh, the Walking Dead is getting renewed for a ninth season. Yeah, <laughs> that's not a shame to you. That's an ash- it's, he, I'm, he's, I'm he's ashamed to hear. In the, in the world, he's ashamed of just the people making decisions. I just, you know, you I, didn't make it. It'd be ashamed if your name is Robert Kirkman. <laughs> I'm just ashamed, you know, that we have to keep making the show. It should, it should die. It's Again. the show that never ends. <laughs> Why can't it die? Why is it going to go past Seinfeld? I mean, we're at, because we're at nine undead, seasons. Justin. The whole show was undead. No, no show encompasses its concept more than The Walking Dead, <laughs> where nobody, there's no the end in sight. People who are just watching Everybody, it are just zombies to begin with also. <laughs> it's just, I mean, I know people who love it. I just, I gave up after The Governor because I just don't care anymore. I don't. But they're making no a ninth season, G- DJ. Aren't you ashamed? Fuck off. Fuck off. Because you fuck are off. part of the problem. Just like nope, I, I was, I left the problem. I got clean. It. We gave I'm clean it, cold turkey. <laughs> we gave cold it a turkey. go, and look at the animal, the the monster that we created. <laughs> it's going for nine seasons. Kind of like the president. Uh, let me let me go. Let me go. Let me let me, let me, let me get this out of the way. All right, here we go. <clears throat> My name is DJ Valentine. Hi, hey DJ. man. Hey hey hey. hey. Uh, hey, bro. You, you, you obviously saw me. I'm sitting right here. Uh, and I, so I my, saw a movie my that many people hated that I was okay with. Uh, time passed, and I saw it again, and I still really dug it. And that movie is Guy Ritchie's King Arthur. I I, I think it's my new Mordecai, where That's... it is shit upon. <laughs> DJ? But, DJ, I just, I but just, I can't hate it. I just I got the Blu-ray uh, the other day. <laughs> you, you, what? You like it, too? I, I haven't even watched it. <laughs> well, maybe, well, maybe, you, maybe you're. Maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you actually just live in this moment where you think it's all. Because yeah, I why think not? I want to give it a go. <laughs> mm, I love it. You I, love I'm, it. So, so, I, I'm, I'm no, going to watch wait, wait, it wait, now. Let me, let me wait, wait. Let me back up. Let me back up. Let me say I don't. Let me say, back, take back. I love it. I did not hate it as much as everybody else. I kind of wow. was like, oh, I, maybe because I'm in the bag for Guy Ritchie. Wow. I, 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 I didn't. I didn't hate it. I liked. I enjoy. I, I enjoyed myself watching it. How about that? I enjoyed myself. I was ashamed to buy it, and then I was like, you know what? I might. I might enjoy it. It was at the Dollar General. You know, it was like five people, bucks. People who shit on it. People who shit on it. I'm like, I can't really argue any of your points. I just. I don't know. I put it on. Wow. It's my Mordecai. When I watch Mordecai, okay. I, I laughed. I know it's a piece of dog shit, but I, I got enjoyment out of it. I'm sorry. I apologize. Huh. I'm ashamed. It's okay, too. <sighs> it's Justin's, okay. We're all safe. Justin's going to put it on. I bought like, it. What? <laughs> Justin, I haven't even watched it yet. You're going to watch it, and you're going to be like, what is wrong with this? I, sk- I skipped through it just to make sure you know it was all it working was good. and Because uh, I copied it yeah, and put sorry. it in my server, of course. And Guy uh, Ritchie's only done one. Don't, Guy Ritchie's done two movies I have not liked. One was Swept Away. The other <laughs> one was Revolver. And uh, the, the rest of them I, I, I dig. I don't know. Maybe he has like a... Some kind of hex on me or something. I don't know. I don't he didn't know. do that Boulevard movie, did he? Boulevard? Boulevard? London Boulevard? No, 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 no. I think he might have produced it. I don't no. think he directed okay. it. I, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't li- I don't like that. I don't, I, don't li- I don't like that London Boulevard. I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> where did, where did the, the London Boulevard touch you, Justin? <laughs> Right here. P- point on the doll where it touched you. <laughs> and right here. But then the walking dead touched me all over <laughs> oh, here. Oh my Just, god. It took a big bite out of you. Alright, Matthew, you have anything you have anything to be ashamed of? Um Yeah, funny. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm something uh, I'm I'm ashamed of. Um oh god. I'm Matt. And um Hi, Matt. This Hi. this goes way back. This is a, a deep city. Hey, hey guys. Hey. Hi. Hey, uh, hey, man. hey man. Okay, look, the quicker <laughs> I get this done, the quicker we can get the fuck out of here smoke. Get it out, get it out, get it, I'm sorry. Okay. I gotta smoke some crack after this. <laughs> okay, bubbles. Some crack. All right, bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. Uh, yeah. So uh, this this comes from uh, deep seated. Uh, we've talked about this uh, a long time ago, uh, probably mm-hmm. a couple years ago. Oh. I, I'm ashamed of um, all the kind of 
shitty things I probably said about Jessica Chastain uh, a long time ago. Oh, you're, you're, you've yeah. turned the corner. I'm, I'm turning you've, the corner a little bit. You've uh, turned the corner. Yeah. Yes. 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 She's, she's quite great, isn't she? I like her. Did, wait, wait, wait. Did you see Molly's game? No, I'm going to see it tonight. I'm going to see it later today, too. But yeah, um, like After the poker game? Oh, after, yeah, after the poker game, game. yes. <laughs> yeah, imagine if you were in that in the room for those poker games. I mean, With Jessica oh. Chastain? Oh, my God. I get lost in that beauty. I'm, yeah. And I'm watching the previews for it, and I'm looking, and I'm like, God damn, she's very gorgeous. She's very attractive. Attractive. You know what's funny? This is how nerdy I am. I watched the you know, trailer for Molly's game. I'm just sitting there going, Sorkin. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're, Everybody's you're, like, you're, you're Chastain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, Aaron Sork. She yeah, is very that, ravishing that in those uh, in those trailers. She's not ugly. She's I'd chash thing that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a verb, but sure. Cash, fine. Cash change. Find out with the Simplistic Reviews yeah. Dictionary. dictionary. Only twenty five ninety nine. Five pages. <laughs> Short words. Plus sixteen ninety five shipping and handling. Big pictures. Yeah. Big picture. Yeah. Big giant pictures of us saying words <laughs> that you Fuck. might not know. Only thirty nine ninety nine. <laughs> the price keeps going up. Forty nine ninety nine. To the highest bidder. Who wants to buy this piece of shit? <laughs> Sell the beans. Now. All right. All right. I'm glad you turned the corner yeah. there. I think I'm, I'm, I'm kind of pleased. I'm happy. Yeah. All right. All right. I, I don't know what it was. There was something oh. a long time ago that maybe it was just an angry young man. Oh, I think not as mad. angry old man. Soon it'll be half Finally, the way. Soon right. it'll be half the way. Yeah. No, no. It's, 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 hey, <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves, okay? Wow. <laughs> Easy there. One day. Wow. One wow. day. Easy there. Easy there, compadre. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Justin. Hi, uh, my name is Hey, Justin. it's you again. Yeah, what else dude, you got to say dude, for yourself, you fuck? I, mean, I, I literally, well, I literally I, just do I, it. I don't know, it's kind of an odd thing. Um, <laughs> All right. You know. Yeah. Um, uh, DJ, I, I don't know if you know this. Um, mm, probably not. You, you know, we watch this uh, Andy Sedaris films. Yes, all the time. I love them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know the girls in the, the, those movies? They... Are part of a an agency? Yes. Uh, you know what that name is? Oh boy. V-A-G no. What, or is, what something? is that name? Uh, it's called Lethal. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Lethal yeah. ladies of something or whatever. No, yeah. I know what it stands for. Oh. Oh God. You know what the lethal the acronym Lethal stands for? L e a c h a l. Yes. Please tell me. Please tell me. Oh, Lethal stands for Legion to ensure. Total harmony and law. Oh, I'm ashamed <laughs> to know good. that. First off, first off, first off, uh, Legion. <laughs> Legion. That's the that's the that's the closest L word they can come up with. <laughs> that's what they came up with. Legion to ensure total not, not, harmony and law. Not, Is that what you? Not said? too bad, right? Not no, bad. No, that, took bad. Some, that took some word gymnastics to get out. That's but, like uh, strategic homeland intervention, enforcement, and logistics division. It's well, like yeah. somebody really wanted to spell lethal. Well, that's what <laughs> yeah. lethal stands for. I know we never talked about in the commentaries, but uh, I, I know I don't know how I know you that. Kept that to yourself. I you? kept you it to just... myself. I am, uh, as you would say, uh, shame. Let me ask you a question, Justin, because I think I think I, I think we've just seen a peek into the depths of your your shame here. Yeah. Do you have? The acronym lethal tattooed somewhere on your body. Well, let's just say it's uh, it's not lethal that's tattooed. It's legion to ensure total harmony and law. <laughs> you spelled it out. <laughs> L my penis. Is it like cavity creeps. Is it got like the the L? It's like it's vertical. When I'm horse? unerect, it says lethal, and when I get erect, it says legion to ensure total harmony and law. I want I want to be in that tattoo parlor where Justin's like, uh, I, I'd like to get a tattoo. Okay, where do you want it? Uh, um, on my dick. On my uh, dick. Oh, it's fine, man. We get that all the time. What do you want to have on there? Um, here's a piece of paper. Uh, here, here you go. <laughs> he's like reading between it for like the five folds seconds. of the skin. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs the paper and he's like. <clears throat> Lethal. Lethal. <laughs> Excuse me and while I look this out. Excited. And read this. Legion of. That's what the girl yes. says. That she's like, "This is lethal." And I go, "No, just wait until you see the legion to ensure total Armenian law." <laughs> oh, Justin. Justin gave me AIDS. I should have known because his dick said lethal. Uh, oh, all right, uh, God, we love you, Andy. We love you. <laughs> I love you, Andy Sedaris. I almost forgive you for that. I almost forgive you for it. All right, here we go. <clears throat> My name is uh, DJ Valentine. <clears throat> What's up, brother? Hey, 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 hey brother. Uh, easy, easy. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> easy, easy. What up, dude? <laughs> what up, homie? And uh, I was a little too old when I final, finally realized that Uh-oh. the Muppets were puppets. Um, hmm. What? What? Well, they're not. They're, the Muppets are not puppets. They're Muppets. A I was probably plus or minus 13 years old before I realized the Muppets were, re- were actually puppets because someone sent me a picture of Jim Hansen with his hands shoved up Kermit's ass. Oh. <laughs> well, that, that's that, that doesn't that's, mean they're not tip. puppets. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that betrayal is probably why I hate Jeff Dunham because uh, uh, and and, and, that and is many other reasons. Well, there's a lot of other <laughs> things too, you know. <laughs> and I believe he yeah, calls nine eleven. I I was not hurt when I found out Santa Claus wasn't real. <laughs> I was hurt more when I found out that Big Bird wasn't real. <laughs> I was like, but Wait, Big Bird what? is real. He is real. He's, no. he's he's real in your heart. Big Bird. No, I was watching West Wing recently, and this remind it reminded me of that because there was an episode where Allison Janney's character CJ is that when singing, the president puts his coat on. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, yeah, it happens in every I love episode, that episode. Just. That was a really good episode. <laughs> That's like all 235 episodes. Kind of the uh, point of the and, joke, DJ. Uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I like pointing out the jokes, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Underline. All right, no, uh, there was a there was Me a scene where CJ. <laughs> there's a scene where Big Bird sits next to Alice and Janie's character, and I was like, Oh God, I remember. And they all came flooded, flooding black. Like, I thought you were real. <laughs> he is real. <laughs> The guy that had to be in that suit. Let me tell you something about Big Bird. Big Bird was a hard <laughs> character. Shit on this. He had a. He actually had a, a, a TV built inside mm-hmm. that suit too, because he couldn't see. And the way oh he, he actually had his hand up, and he had another cable. It was the, his dick. It was his dick, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, I just say, if you want to Google Big Bird, check out that guy was a masterful puppeteer, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Just Google Big Bird's dick. Yeah. You'll find- <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, I'm sure it's already in your search history. Just I guarantee you, you're gonna let find it auto type in that you. image search. Homeland Security. Just go, Big Bird dick. Just go to image search and Google Big Bird, Big Bird's dick. I I, I, I would say probably don't Google that, people. Because I think you should. I think you should. Just go incognito on your browser. You're fine. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's, no, it's fine. It's it, it's the it's the mob. Do that and Google kid right after that. Let's see how long it takes for the <laughs> what authorities. The fuck? <laughs> don't Google dick and kid. <laughs> oh, okay. God. <laughs> All right, Matthew. Big you're, you're, you're up. <laughs> that's, the, that's, that's the reason why search engine deletion was created. Yes, exactly. Idiots. All right. <laughs> Nothing ever gets deleted. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing is ever truly deleted. Nothing's ever free. <laughs> Go ahead, Matthew. Um, all right. Uh, yeah. It's um, Matt. And, yeah, uh, yeah, we know. yeah, we know. Get on with it. We know. Oh, get on with it. Well, I'm going to take I got, my time. I got to crack the smoke, too. Yeah, well, <laughs> get in line, buddy. Got to suck that dick in the alley. <laughs> I, be, I bet you can suck a dick for some this, crack. This crack line ain't going to crack itself. This Let's crack go. line isn't going to suck itself. <laughs> uh, we have fun, so, don't we? We have fun, guys. We have we great do. times. We have great times. <laughs> great times. Great dick, times. Kid dick. Dick kid. Well, easy, easy, easy. <laughs> don't say it too many times. YouTube will flag us. Go, go ahead. Remember, remember that show Wish Kid with Macaulay Culkin? I think I do vaguely remember that, yeah. Yeah, and he had wishes. How anyway, many wishes? How many wishes did he have? I think he had unlimited. I think he had at least one an episode. And I think they made about <laughs> Did he have one episodes. wish and then asked he wished for unlimited wishes? I want unlimited wishes. That yeah. would have been smart. Damn. That's that's the AP play right <laughs> you there. Figured it out. Yeah. Well, he cracked <laughs> damn it. Fuck. God damn it. Seven million years. Nobody's ever done that before. Fucking <laughs> I'm such a stupid genie. <laughs> R.I.P. Rob Williams. Um, oh. Oh, too soon. Yeah. That's so, Wish Kid yeah. is the, the, the no, 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 no. Wish that's kid. not my shame. Oh. But it, that shit's uh, awesome. That's pretty good. Everybody, shameful, everybody who doesn't like that can go fuck off. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> um, R.I.P. Michael Jackson. Um, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> that's a weird R.I.P. But all right. Uh, I think I got it. <laughs> you got I think it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're black. Only Cole and Michael Jackson. That was you're going with. Yeah. <laughs> All right, those are bubbles. The, re- the the OG bubbles, the original bubbles. The OG, <laughs> the bubbles that wasn't yeah. on crack. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, Street Fighter. Um, Street Fighter Two. No, how, how do you get from Wish Kid to Street Fighter? Well, this you is gotta, what I'm ashamed of because I, I I really like that movie. Wait, wait. It is a which fun one movie. are you talking about? The movie, Street The Fighter? Legend of Chung Lee. No, 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 no. We're going with Jean Claude and Raul Julia in his you final role. You like the. W- you like the Raul Julia movie Street Fighter, Yeah, because huh? Raul Julia is fucking fantastic. Of course! That's why you like <laughs> Game <that>. over! 
<laughs> and he's literally playing the Street Fighter joypad, the arcade cabin joypad, while he's detonating the mines in the Mine River boat sequence. Yes. The classic you, scene. Do you remember amazing. for 2,000 points who was the actress that played Chung Lee? Oh, she had uh, a name? I thought she was just... Oh, yeah, she's a big... She, not say a big star, she, but once you know... I know she Kylie is. You know who she is. played Cammy. It's like Ming I, something. It's Ming Na from Agents of Shield. Holy Ming-Na. fuck me. <laughs> God <laughs> damn. Well, look at that. And the Joy Luck Club. A much younger yes. Ming Na. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I didn't recognize yes. her without her black suit and her long hair. And her scowl. And, and her... her, her, her. <laughs> Mulan was Chung Lee. That's called typecasting. Yeah. Uh, hey, hey, but at least they're I, making you know, Asian okay. people play Asian yes, people. Yes, thank you. Yeah, so it's not typecasting, you know, listen, okay? You either you it could do, have been Scarlett you Johansson. Don't. You're damned oh, fuck if off. you do, if you don't. So, it could have been Scar Jo as Chung Lee in Street Fighter. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's get an Asian for it. Oh, that's racist. Okay, let's get a white person. Oh, that's no, white that's, that's racist. You're in a. You can't you're fucking win with you people. Anymore. And you, you, you're damn. Wait, wait. What do you mean, you people? What <laughs> you the people. fuck do you mean? <laughs> I'm not even Asian. You, you, all you snowflakes out there. Yeah. What? What does that even mean? I like. I snowflakes. don't know. What's, I, I saw snow. It. I just saw snow a few days ago here in Nashville. It was amazing. It was like a winter wonderland. That's scary. No, it is scary. All right, uh, here we oh. go. Um, well. Wait, 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 whose turn is it? Is it my turn or Justin's turn? Oh, it's turn? Uh, Justin. No. He, it's he, your he, turn. You can go. Oh, it's my oh turn. we're going right, to yeah. swap it around a little bit? I don't want to go. Swap, oh, the, all right, here we go. I'll, I'll get it out of the way. It's my, this one's go. really fast. <laughs> my name is DJ Valentine. Yeah, okay. We get it. <laughs> Move on with it. <laughs> yeah. I, and I'm still not certain to this moment mm. if it's Inigo Montoya or Indigo Montoya. I have no fucking idea. Indigo? Like I always indigo? say Inigo Montoya, but then I think it's spelled Indigo Montoya. What the fuck is it? Is it Inigo or Indigo? I have no idea. Indian. That's no, it's not racist. Indian Montoya. It's racist. That's what it is. It's racist. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know my name. You don't know my name. <laughs> I bet you if I was Caucasian, you'd know my name. <laughs> yeah, speak English. This is America. Uh, if I was from Tennessee, you'd know my name. Probably. Uh, Justin, you have you have any more? Yeah, I got one that's not going to go over well. Ooh, I oh, I can't God. wait. Oh, here oh, we go. Boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's bubble that pot. Yeah. It's, it's bubble that crack. Yeah, I I, uh, I like a movie. Ooh. Uh-oh. You like a movie? I say King Arthur. It can't be worse. It can't be worse. I like The Last Jedi. No, you, okay. You're, 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 with, you're with the other half of the I audience. Mean, I, I think, I, I, I think, <laughs> I think low of you. It's fine. Okay. I mean, you're 50%. I mean, <laughs> my heart is going I, I might not there. like you anymore, I, but I mean, the, the masses. I thought really. I was going to lose all the friends I have. No, no, you just lost me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> DJ has left the building. He, he's he's hiding in that crack line early. Have a good time. I, I, I went to, uh, I went to, uh, I went back home for the holidays and I, I got to mm. see it there. And, all right. Um, got to go out with some people, oh. uh, some, some friends and all. And, and, right. um, I was really the only one that kind of liked it, and uh, you know <laughs> they shamed you on the. <laughs> I was ashamed. Shit at you. I was ashamed. I, 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 you know, it's got a lot of problems, but um, I've never yeah, thought does, I would Justin. see a movie. <laughs> a lot of problems. <laughs> Actually, there's a ton of issues. With never that. thought I'd see a movie where a studio literally tells its fans, "Fuck yourself." Fuck you. <laughs> because honestly. Um, the one thing I've DC's always... been doing it on accident for fucking years. This one did it on purpose. Yeah. Well, no, it's it's hilarious because, um, you know, <laughs> when JJ took over mm. and um, created The Force Awakens, it was right, this right, right. nostalgia feel and, hey, fans, remember this and stroke this and put your finger in that. And then this comes out and it's like, fuck all that. We're not going to do it anymore. We're doing our own thing, which I, I which I like. That, that's what I've been wanting. I wanted these new storylines for the longest time. I don't want to do the same hash thing over and over again. I, I, I don't want the old shit. Leave it alone. Do something new. And I finally got that. So um, yeah, a lot of a lot of people I know uh, really hate this movie, and uh, I actually kind of like it. I, it's, hey, I'm raising my hand over here. Raising my hand. Yeah, I here. see it. It's dark, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> My hand or the movie? The light in the room is racist. Oh. Really bad here. That is horrible. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, I'm all in right, between. All right, all right, guy in the back raising your hand. I can't quite make it out, but yeah, what, what the fuck are you trying to say? I got a kind of a long one here. It's, it, it, it takes some, because it takes some explaining. So I just, 
I'm gonna oh. get this out. It's got like, I don't think I've ever like told you guys this. on this one. No, you told me. I've never I've never told, you, told you guys the story before. Yeah, you did to me. No, no, no. That one night. I thought we shared uh, everything. <laughs> no, I might I, I think I might have like blocked this out of my memory and it flooded back. No, you told me. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I read a lot of comic books as a, I read a lot of comic books as a child. I still read a little bit of, uh, occasionally. Spider Man, The Punisher, X Men, and X Factor. Uh, my show. stepfather. Yeah, has, I love that yeah. show. <laughs> my stepdad uh, used to have one of those big giant satellite dishes before DirecTV was a thing. And sure. Where you use a huge guidebook called Orbit, where you punch in a location and it moves the satellite. Remember those yeah, things? Yeah, like the Russians use. Right, right, right. Uh, well, at a family gathering. Oh, God. My. <laughs> oh. My stepdad's oh. house. Uh, I was reading the Orbit book, and on one of the satellite channels was listed X Factor. And I wasn't in the movie Ooh, no yeah. then, but well, figured, going. hey, they must have made an X Factor <laughs> uh, movie. I, I want to see it. I mean, oh. Havoc, Polaris, Multiple Man, oh, a yeah. movie about cool, under, underrated X Men. <laughs> yeah. On right now, and from some satellite over Russia. So I'm yeah. gonna, you know, remember family gathering, many people, yes. kids, mm. yes. grown ups. Mm. So in the living room, uh, mm. Uh, mm. talking as I fumbled around with this uh, satellite, I, I punched the coordinates uh, into the <laughs> boop, 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 thing, boop, boop, and, the, and the satellite boop, boop, moved to um, the X Factor film that I found. And the X Factor film that I found from 1984 involved, yeah. involved a man banging a chick from behind in a steam room. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Like I know. I have, I have never seen my parents move so fast to rip their remote from my hand and change the channel. <laughs> Directed by but Hal the... Freeman. <laughs> X Factor, 1998. It's rated X. It's an hour and 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah. That's it. I'm a, I'm, the internet's amazing because you found it in literally five I seconds. I did. It's a beautiful love story is the tagline. Ooh. I am not going to tell you the storyline, people. You can read nope. that yourself. Yeah. No, no, no. I I was look, I was waiting to see mutants and uh, no, no, some, no. Some, no. Some, some some metal bending, and I, I saw a different kind of you bending. Saw some, yeah, you saw another bending. Yeah. You saw some <laughs> bending by Eric Edwards yeah. uh, as he was Ted Palmer. <laughs> Ted Palmer. Yeah, he palmed it. He palmed, he, he palmed it by the pussy. Yeah. He palmed the pussy. <laughs> he let you do anything you want. Palmed by the pussy. No matter. <laughs> I'm trying to find somebody that like we know in this movie. Oh, Paul Thomas. Matt, Matt I need you to not know the exact phrasing Donald Trump used. I've, I've, I've read so well. It's called, it's called the art of the deal. It's that's, part of the art how, of the that's how you, the, the way you close the deal is to just palm, palm it by the pussy. Just to close the pussy with your hand. Yeah, exactly. Take it from Billy Bush. This has been simply ashamed. A much easier therapeutic experience than rehab. Do you think Billy Bush was covering his, himself up when he heard that term? He was like he was. He was probably worried. he was probably naked, hiding in naked the bush, hiding in the bush, hiding in the bush, beating around is, the bush, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Matthew, uh, give everybody our information. Oh boy! <laughs> and for the last time, again, our information <laughs> for the final time. For the final, for the final, time, final, final time. For the final time, again. For the first time, again. For the final time, once more. <laughs> <laughs> Simplistic Reviews <laughs> Simplisticreviews.net The main source for all your Yuck yucks and chuck chucks And fuck fucks And uh, make sure you buy that dictionary <laughs> On there too I'm sure there's a link on there Only oh, seventy nine ninety nine. Seventy nine ninety nine. Wait it's oh, it, Going now $89.99 Limited time offer Going going Better. still there going. But we'll get, we'll get back there. around to it we'll, it's we'll Only $12.99 <laughs> Wait, what? Like Twelve ninety nine for page in ruples. <laughs> you can pay Bitcoin now too. We're in a brave world. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. So, uh, simplisticreviews.net. Uh, you go to you, you can find us on YouTube. You can find us on Twitter at Simple Tweeters. You can uh, go uh, go on the old Instagram where we uh, uh, post photos. Uh, hey. sim- simply gramming and uh, oh. not simply grandma. That might be something different. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah, so don't do that. you might be able to find that on X Factor actually. Uh, simply, gra- <laughs> simply grandma. It's called sip, sip and grandma. Uh, Granny's hey, uh, apple. Yeah. <laughs> Granny's apple. <laughs> Granny's peach Granny. tea. <laughs> Grandma's peach tea and uh, Granny Smith apples. Uh, what's a bite of Granny Smith's apple? Uh, Nobody. We've gone off the rails here. Uh, yeah, but da- uh, download the podcast too because uh, they're usually pretty funny. Okay. Uh, yeah, you could go to uh, go to any place where podcasts can be found, or 
uh, downloaded or deleted, uh, you'll be able to find the podcast there. Uh, Simplistic Reviews. Everybody, say it together now. <laughs> Simplistic, Simplistic Reviews. Yeah, it's like a chip. Simplistic it's not what called. Simplistic Reviews. Simplistic Reviews. <laughs> Simplistic well, reviews. for... Uh, <laughs> Yay. For Billy Bush and uh, Lethal, I am uh, Granny's... Legion to ensure total <laughs> harmony and <laughs> law. They Please are the law. stop knowing the entire thing by heart. <laughs> Let's do another Aww. Andy Sedaris film. Oh, I love you, Andy Sedaris. It's a shame he was cut in half in The Last Jedi. Oh, spoiler alert for a mediocre film. Oh. Oh. I kind of liked it. <laughs> hey, I liked it here. <laughs> I thought it was okay. And I like that Kylo Red guy. Hey, who's that Kylo Red guy? Hey, 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 hey Ray, come over here. Hey, come here, Ray. You want to know who your parents are? <laughs> Nobody! Nobody's a fucking Barry! <laughs> Another rousing edition of the Simplistic Reviews podcast comes to a close. I myself am now ready to kick back, crack open a 40, pop on some Food Network, and watch Chopped. What? Food Network is the only type of reality TV I can bear. No housewives drunk on South Beach, no ridiculous island challenges, no Kardashians. Just a chef, a walk, and some bok choy. This podcast is a proud member of the Lamb Podcasting Network. Find the network at largeassmovieblogs.com. Or maybe some tempura. I fucking love that shit. <laughs>